under France's Fifth Republic, the far right has been dominated by one family, the Le Pens. In 1972, Jean-Marie Le Pen co-founded the Far Right National Front, along with figures who had collaborated with the Nazis and the Vichy regime during World War II and who had opposed Algeria's independence from France. Le Pen made a name for himself with controversial comments, including that the Nazi gas chambers were, quote, a detail of history, just one of a series of statements that would see him convicted of hate speech. After three unsuccessful presidential bids, in 2002, Le Pen advanced to the second round, shaking up the French political landscape. Almost a decade later, his daughter Marine took over the party, capitalizing on economic grievances, as well as social anxieties stemming from immigration and terrorism. Nous ne voulons pas vivre sous le joug ou la menace du fondamentalisme islamiste. Marine ran for president in 2012 and 2017, coming in third and second, respectively, in the first round of voting. Seeking to distance herself from the allegations of racism and anti-Semitism sparked by her father's comments over the years, she ultimately expelled him from the party he founded and rebranded it in 2018, giving it a new name, the National Rally. But most of her nativist platform remained unchanged. Moi, je pense que il faut d'abord s'attaquer à l'immigration massive, car en réalité, bien souvent, la radicalité est une radicalité d'importation. A major turning point for the far right came in the 2022 presidential race with the arrival of not one, but two major candidates. Éric Zemmour's bid has challenged the Le Pen family's dominance over the French far right, even luring Marine's own niece, Marion Maréchal, to his campaign. His messaging addresses a different audience than Marine, an older one, more traditional, Catholic and middle to upper class, according to analysts, in contrast to his rival support from younger and more rural blue-collar workers. The people that Marine Le Pen speaks to are those that feel left behind um, by the development of France, left behind by the political and economic direction the country takes. At the start of the campaign, Zemmour's bid helped shape the race's main issues, and he siphoned supporters from Les Républicains, the traditional right-wing party, which has struggled to rebuild since its 2017 defeat. The pundit, known for his firebrand rhetoric, has railed against Islam and centered his campaign on the so-called Great Replacement, a conspiracy theory claiming that white Christian populations in Europe are being replaced by non-white immigrants. Dès les premières semaines de mon mandat, l'immigration zéro deviendra un objectif clair de notre politique. Zemmour's platform has softened the image of Marine Le Pen, who has largely focused on purchasing power during her campaign, although her manifesto remains staunchly far-right.